So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. It's a fun summer night makeup tutorial. Um, I included a lot of products from Makeup Forever and NYX because I have a bunch of their products and I've been really loving them lately. So it's a tutorial on this look I'm wearing right now. It's very glowy, like my face straight up looks like a disco ball right now, but it's very glowy and summery and like healthy and dewy, but it adds a fun pop of color and it is more of a nighttime look, I would say, because it is a little bit smoky on the eyelid, but it's not too much if you wanted to wear this to like a concert or a summer party or a barbecue. I think it would be a perfect look. Um, and then on the lips, I just did a really pretty glossy like kind of darker nude. Not even a darker nude, just more of like a neutral rather than like a straight like pale nude. I know right off the bat when I think of like a fun summer lip, I think of something bright and like a bright coral or a bright pink or something. But... When it comes down to it, if I'm sweating in the heat in the summer, I hate having to like pay attention to a bright lip because they can get super messy when you're sweating especially. So I usually like to stick to a lip like this that's really easy to touch up and if it does get a little bit messed up you can't really tell because it's a neutral color, you know what I mean? I actually posted a Instagram video of a look very, I mean basically this look and a lot of you said that you wanted to see, well actually one of you said that you wanted to see a tutorial. <laughs> Um, but I've had like a bunch of friends and stuff say that they'd like to see a tutorial on it too. So I figured it would be the perfect look to come back with because yes, I know I haven't made a video in a long time. I'm not even going to really go into why. I just wasn't feeling inspired. That's really the whole gist of it. I just didn't feel like making a video. But I'm going to keep this intro as short and sweet as, as possible because I'm sure you guys are just ready for some new makeup tutorials. Am I right? Um, so yeah, without any further ado, let's just jump right into this look. My la my nails look like shit. I gotta get this taken care of real quick. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like it. Make sure to leave me some comments down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey guys, so I'm gonna start off by putting my hair back because it likes to get in my way and it was soaking wet at this point. Then I'm gonna put on um, a little bit of lip balm. I am crazy about wearing lip balm all the time, so I'm just putting on the Glam Glow one. It is incredible. Um, then I'm going to spray my face with this Scandinavia makeup primer spray. Um, I think you can get a set of this. It's like the primer spray and the finishing spray. I love this stuff, especially for the summer. It keeps your makeup on all day. Then for the face, I'm going to start with the face today. I'm going to start with this smoothing primer from Makeup Forever. A definite favorite of mine if you're looking for a good primer to fill in your pores and keep your makeup on. It is a one. So then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. This is absolutely my favorite foundation at the moment. It is so incredible. I never thought I would like a stick foundation, but it looks beautiful on the skin and it actually blends out really, really, really easily. And it's just incredible. You can get one of these for your foundation and then get another for contouring, highlighting. It's great stuff and I highly recommend it. I like it even more than the original, like the liquid Ultra HD. Then I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows. Lately I've been just doing powder and it's been giving me a lot more natural of an effect and it's like more like fluffy brows because as you can see I have very thick full brows so I like to keep them as natural as possible because if I filled them in um, any harsher they would kind of look like drag brows which they have before I will admit to it. <laughs> But I just filled in my brows and then I take that same Makeup Forever um, Ultra HD foundation stick and I use that same product to carve out my brows with just a concealer brush. And then under the eyes I'm going to go in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is my current favorite under eye concealer. This and probably the MAC Pro Longwear are really doing it for me lately because I have really horrible under eye circles. And this stuff just does the job and it blends out really nicely and it wears all day. And of course always using my Beauty Blender. Then to set that I'm just going to take a loose translucent powder and with that same damp Beauty Blender just go over everywhere I put the concealer and then also a little bit over the eyebrows. I feel like it just blends them a little bit and tones them down. Um, I've been liking doing that. You can use any loose powder. That one you can't really get your hands on, but whatever loose powder you have will work fine. Um, then I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. This is in number two. And I'm first going to take that bronzer side with this Makeup Forever Dual Ended Brush. It's just like a powder brush. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and bronze my whole face. Um, I went really ham with the bronzer for this look, but I wanted to be really super bronze. Then I took this like kind of fluffy fan brush deal from NYX and just deepened the contour up a little bit. 
than for blush today I'm be using ColourPop's Quarters. Um, this is a really beautiful color and the ColourPop blush formulas are actually pretty dope. I definitely recommend them if you're looking for a new blush, especially one that's only $8. <laughs> then for a base for my highlight, I'm going to take this Winky Lux Cream Highlighter. This is in Bronze Bombshell. If you don't have a tan or you're not like a medium to deep skin tone, I would not use this as a base. I would get something lighter because it is pretty dark. But now that I have a tan, it looks gorgeous. And then I top it off with the other side of that pro bleh, that pro sculpting duo from Makeup Forever. And it just looks phenomenal together. Like you will glow to the heavens. I wore this my entire vacation in Hawaii and I just loved it so much. So then I'm going to jump into eyeshadows. This is the full throttle full throttle eyeshadow palette from um, NYX in the shade Color Riot. And I first took that one orange shade. It's really bright orange shade but once you put it on the crease with like a fluffy brush and blow it out it looks gorgeous. Then I'm going to take that deeper kind of rust brown color and put it right into the crease with a more tapered blending brush. This one is from NYX. I'm not sure of the names of these brushes but they're great. If you want some good affordable brushes go ahead and check out NYX's website. Then I'm just going to blend all of those colors together to make sure it's all nice and blown out. Then I took an E25 from Sigma and I took that red shade and I popped it on the outer corner and then dragged it into the into the crease but I'm focusing most of the color on the outer corner and this is really going to build up the intensity of this like warm bronze smoky eye. And then for the real bronzeness I'm going to go in with NYX's, um, what are these called? I can't remember. Um, they're like their foil shadows. This one is in bedroom eyes and I'm just going to put that all on the lid with this flat shader brush from NYX. These brushes are bomb guys like I'm telling you you should definitely check them out um, and then I went in with that E25 a little bit no additional product just used it to blend out the edges so that there wasn't a stark line and then I went into another one of these full throttle uh, eyeshadow palettes this one is in stunner and I took that dark brown shade and just popped it right on the outer corner and through the crease just to kind of deepen up the look and add some intensity and then I took the lighter shade from the first um, eyeshadow palette and I just used it to highlight my brow. You can also use your highlighter for the shade or any other shade that you like and I popped it on the inner corner as well. <clears throat> And then for the lower lash line, I took this full throttle eyeshadow pencil or shadow stick from NYX. This is in the shade, what shade is this? I literally, oh, Cold Fear. And it's a really cool like aqua blue color, like a blue green. And I put that all on the lower lash line and then I took the blue from the Stunner palette and I pressed it right on top and it creates the most beautiful aqua blue. Like aqua blue on the lower lash line for summer is probably one of my favorite looks ever. Like Ever since I started wearing makeup, I've been doing this this type of look. <clears throat> and then I took a little bit of that orange and I just blew out the blue on the lower lash line. Didn't really add much color, but I just wanted to make sure all of the edges were blended and it looked a little bit more blown out. So then I'm going to go in with some lash curlers and just curl my lashes. This one is from e.l.f. Um, you can use whatever you'd like. And I'm going to take a mascara. This is Essence's like extreme princess slash I don't know it's a great mascara though and it's really cheap and then I took these Ardell individuals and I just popped a few of them on they're like clusters of three lashes and I think they're absolutely gorgeous for like a summer look like a more like a less done up look than you would want like a whole strip of lashes for but they look so beautiful on and then finally for lips I'm gonna go in with Jordana's Coco Loco lip liner and this is just gonna give my my lips a nice defined line um, and it is a little bit deeper but we are gonna blend it out so it's not gonna look like Chola lips so don't worry and then after I put that one on I took Spice from Rimmel and I just kind of blended that in the center or the like right under where we put Coco Loco and then I'm going to take this Mally Beauty lip, lip gloss in Stardust. It's a really pretty like glittery gold and just top that off. I don't like to wear lipstick in the summer because it gets pretty messy, but lip liner and lip gloss together are incredible. Then once my lashes were dry, I just took my lash curlers and blended them in. And I think I popped on a little bit more mascara. And then after that, I took the makeup finishing spray from Scandinavia, Scandinavia and I just set everything in place. And once you do that, you're basically set with the entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, guys, that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, leave me some comments down below letting me know other things you want to see. I have a few videos planned, but you never know what happens. Maybe you guys have better ideas for me. But thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.